In this tutorial, we will simulate the CMOS inverter using LTSPY 17 circuit simulation tool. In this CMOS inverter circuit simulation, we will use the BSIM4 SPICE model. What is BSIM4? That might be your next question. BSIM came into prominence during 1987, known as the Berkeley Short Channel ICFIT model. Modeling of any device involves the following steps. 1. Processing or fabrication technique. 2. Device simulation, emphasize on device physics. 3. Characterization of the device. 4. Transform into software programming. BSIM is the first industrial standard MOSFET model, its first CMC standard models in TM12, which enables efficient macro modeling. Professor Don Peterson provided the SPICE model free to the industry, which explains the success of the BSIM model. CMOS inverter forms the basic building block of any digital circuit, 90% of integrated circuits fabricated using CMOS technology. When the input is low, the output of the CMOS inverter is high and vice versa. Start the circuit simulation using LT Spice to open a new schematic editor. Go to File, click on New Schematic. Components required to design a CMOS inverter are NMOS, PMOS, voltage source, wire, capacitor, and ground. Click onto the component symbol, and you would get the select component symbol pop up from the list. Select the PMOS 4 and click OK and press Escape. Next, click onto the component symbol, and you would get the select component symbol pop up from the list. Select the NMOS 4 and click OK and press Escape. Right click on the PMOS and set the size of PMOS length 100 nano and width 500 nano and the model name P underscore 50 N. Similarly right click on the NMOS and set the size of NMOS length 50 nano and width 500 nano and the model name N underscore 50 N. Now we need to define the, the VDD, in, out and digital ground as an input pin and define the port type as an input or output. Click on label you get pop-up net name define it as V in and select the port type input. Similarly define the VDD and DGND as the input port and out as the output port. Click on label you get pop-up net name define it as VDD and select the port type input. Now click on label you get pop-up net name define it as DGND and select the port type input. Click on label you get pop-up net name define it as out and select the port type output. Click on wire and connect the in to the input of PMOS and NMOS the MOSFET terminal source connected to the bulk or you can use 4 terminal NMOS and PMOS device, which uses the symbol indicate substrate is P type to N channel. You can label the input as in and output as out. When the CMOS inverter input connected to the ground, the output is pulled to VDD through the PMOS device, and when the input is connected to VDD, the output is pulled through the ground by the NMOS device. We must also include the BSIM model file, go to edit and select SPICE directives and then type dot include BSIM4 underscore model dot text. Click on file and select save as and save the schematic as CMOS underscore inverter 1.
The next section will guide you on how to create a symbol in LT Spice. Click on Hierarchy and then select Create a new symbol you will get a new schematic. Save the symbol as CMOS underscore inverter 1, this symbol will correspond to the schematic which we had done earlier. Now click on the draw and then click on line. We will draw the CMOS inverter symbol and add the input and output pin to our symbol. Name the pins as in, VDD, and DGND for input terminal and out the output terminal of CMOS inverter. Click on the edit and select add pin slash port. You will get a pop-up pin slash port properties label the pin as in and similarly perform same action for VDD, DGND, and out. The symbol CMOS Inverter 1 will be used in our future DC analysis and transient analysis. Next, we simulate the CMOS Inverter circuit for the DC sweep. Open a new schematic. Use the symbol which we had created previously by selecting the component and look for CMOS Inverter 1 symbol. Click on that and press OK to add the CMOS Inverter 1 symbol in the schematic. Next we require voltage source for our CMOS inverter DC analysis. V1 voltage source will be the input to the CMOS inverter and V2 as a VDD source of 1 volt. Place the voltage source on the schematic and connect those using wire. Click on ground and make all the necessary ground connections as shown in the schematic. The first source of sweep will be V1, V1 voltage source will be the input to the CMOS inverter and V2 as a VDD source of 1 volt.
the first source of sweep will be v1, the start value to be 0, and stop value as 1 with 1 mv increment. Let us place the spice analysis on the schematic and run the simulation. The first source of sweep will be V1, the start value to be 0, and stop value as 1 with 1 MV increment. Let us place the spice analysis on the schematic and run the simulation. Click on the input and the output terminal to see the DC analysis. Now let us make a few changes to our voltage source and add a capacitor at the output of CMOS inverter, let us assume that the resistance of inverter MOSFET is around 1K and we set the value of capacitor to 200 femtofarad for a reasonable time constant. Let us place the spice analysis on the schematic and run the simulation. Click on the input and the output terminal to see the transient analysis. Thank you for watching this tutorial, subscribe to my channel below for more such videos in future.